everyone and welcome back to Until Dawn. I'm starting chapter 8 today and I still can't believe Josh, honestly. He's really not doing too well. And today, I hope we can find out more about this mystery man. He was stalking Mike and Jessica, but now he's in the mines with Emily. So what's up, dude? What do you want? I don't know, but let's find out. Let's get into it. Revelation. Okay. Well, perfect. No! Shh, Don't stay away! No! 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 I don't think he's evil! Okay. Wait, but... okay. Shit! Oh my god. Oh, he gave us flares. Yeah, I don't think he's evil. So wait, he was the one who had the flamethrower in the cabin when Hannah and Beth we're running away, I would think. I would think. But it looks like he was protecting M from whatever that was. Still no math, though. And it still doesn't explain who that man is. But now I'm pretty sure he's not evil. <gasps> oh no. The totem? Yes. Okay. Please, how do I survive? Okay. Okay. Yeah? A danger totem. But it's Emily with a flare. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? It's gonna get dangerous, is what I'm getting. Already knew that, totem. Oh no. Okay. Oh no! What the heck is that? I'm gonna go right. Oh no, 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 no! Left! I didn't choose. Did I choose? I, 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 I don't know what happened. What are these things? Breathing. Wow! Good 
job, Em. Good thinking, good thinking, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get up there. Stay, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Right? I don't know. <gasps> oh no! Oh my gosh. That was a grinder. Come on! Five. She was bit though. What does that mean? I is she gonna turn into a thing? What was that? Demon spawn? She went back to the lodge. Oh, wait. Crap. What now? Oh, they're in the lodge, too. Let her in quick. Is that? It's M. Shut the door! Oh, my God, shut the door! Em, are you all right? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming bloody murder. Are you okay? You totally won. There was something. Where's Matt? Come sit down. Yeah. Sit down. Something's out Did you there. guys split up? A monster. It's a monster. Wait. Concerned. I'm gonna be concerned. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I don't feel anything. I just need to calm down. It was moving so damn fast. What? I just had to get away. Away from what? There, there was this, this thing, whatever it was. Em, em, you can relax. Josh was messing with You're us. You're not listening to me. No. It's. Well, what happened first? Em, can you tell us exactly what happened? I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower and it. It fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mines. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? There are these mine shafts all over, running under yeah. everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Yeah. Beth's head. That's I a lot. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Listen, in... In the tower, there was there was a radio, and, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh, God, Yeah, yeah, Mike. barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. Huh? What the f*** can that be? Josh. Exactly. Yes. Could be Matt. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. <laughs> Good. Huh? Oh, he looks like the mystery man. Um, I'll cover the door, okay. right? I'm gonna open the door. Ready? Ready? Just do it already. Whoever it is is probably gone by now. <laughs> I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. He can hear you, I think. <laughs> Hold on there. Who's that? Hold on there, mister. Yeah. Freeze. Ah, oh, what? The? All right, all right. <laughs> Take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you 
what you're up against being back on this mountain. Okay. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Or oh, responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain. His? Uh, I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What is he talking about? What? It's a Wendigo. Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Huh? Oh, crap. He saw, yeah, he saw. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I yeah. ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, <gasps> your friend will already be dead. No. What? No, he, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. No. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. You going alone is suicide. Huh. Right. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe, and don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. <laughs> You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. He's been surviving, so I would trust him. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. <laughs> what? How do you know? Trust me. I know. Hey. <laughs> Come back safe. Oh. We need to hurry, son. I, uh... Well, well, well. See you soon. So, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. Uh, what's, uh, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Okay. I'm going to stay close. So how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, but it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them. If you have to. Okay. Your skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. It's gross. How did he figure that out, this man? Well, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable? Or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well... They adhere to some patterns, like any animal or human. Well, you mean like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. The uh, pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Uh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're 
standing still. It's like toads. Right. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. Okay. So wait, someone resorted to cannibalism? And then the spirit of the Wendigo was things. unleashed? Where's Josh? Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Quiet. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He could still be out there. <laughs> First, a Wendigo. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feast on your organs, one piece at a time. So we'll watch then. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go now. Yeah. It might still be near. And uh, Chris? Stay close to the man. I just want to look at my totem again, okay? Because um, there was a totem with Chris and that man. What was it? Loss? Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. But is the friend in question Chris or is it that man? And why would Chris shoot at that man? I was gonna say, who would resort to cannibalism on that mountain? But maybe. I just had an idea. Maybe it was the miners when they were trapped down there. Maybe someone ate, you know? And then the Wendigo, the spirit of the Wendigo. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's possible. It's possible. I'm not sure what to do with that totem, though. Mister, what you doing? You walking into a wall. He's walking. <laughs> what you doing? Hold on. Okay, I'll stay close to him. Okay. Run. Huh? Now, now. Hey. Ah. Back. 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 God damn. That was right out in the open. We gotta get out of here. Yeah. Ah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh no. And he dies. Kill it with the shotgun, though. He's leading that thing to the house. Run! Ew! Die! <laughs> it worked. But that man 
Everyone's dead now. Okay. Ash, Ash. Oh, thank God, please. Let me in quick. Chris! My God, what happened? Oh, oh no. Go, 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 go. He led them to the house. Wow. Oh my god, guys, thank god! It took you so long. It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. no. What happened? The thing, it, uh, it tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, god. All right, are these all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I huh? really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. Yeah. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us <laughs> in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, what? there's no key for the cable car. Josh. He's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great. Great. That f thing got a hold of Josh. Then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives. And... Yum. Huh. M? What? I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. <laughs> and what is all that? Uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? That guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. Yeah. It's horrible. You were? You've been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. God. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some like big cover up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. Mm -hmm. and I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like something yeah. been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the f out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird. How much crazy shit's gone on up here? What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. Oh, what? I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um, what is... Huh? What is that? Ash. She saw? Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, it's oh my nothing. god. nothing. Oh, it just oh, it, no, it no, bit no. me and... It bit you? What bit you? The, the Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's, it's not that really? bad. Really? Em, if that thing bit you. I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes, Emily. At least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, but we don't know. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh. that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike. You got to go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I Emily. am. Emily. You can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these f can do, and I don't want to see it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? The door's right here. What? No. I'm letting you do this voluntarily. Oh, no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my God, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. <gasps> Mike, Mike! Calm down. You're, 
gonna shoot me? <laughs> like me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. <laughs> not for us. Don't, don't do this. I'm really sorry. Someone help him. No. Mike. You've been through a lot. You're not gonna shoot M. Come on! You did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. Shit. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. I can't believe that was a choice. Can't they like contain her or not contain her, but put her in a in a room or something? What the hell? You okay? I mean, it is concerning that she was bit, but we don't know. We don't know. If she's gonna turn. I thought that that he was gonna help us. Is a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. I don't know if I can. Whoa, okay. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I'm the only man who has guys ever kept them. OCD. What? I'm the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words, or it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms, when he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Huh? Oh. So when people are starving, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse often those companions who have traveled with him. He will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. Oh well. I have seen this happen many years ago, a craving for flesh that cannot be sated. He has seen this happen? And then the change begins. So one of my theories is that this guy could have been one of the miners. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. So we have to watch out for M's eyes. Then the teeth will become longer like fangs. The creature grows and the skin is pulled taut across the bones. Nar, this is not nice. What's, what else? There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. Their shamans tell stories That's of a tall a creature. To this. We saw the tall creature, born in ice. The tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred. So this is a sacred mountain. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. In 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree said that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. Huh. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo it sees says movements. because the Wendigos are mutated from humans. When they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Oh, that's great. That's great to hear. Um, the Wendigo sees movement. It is a hunter, like a hawk. But it cannot see stillness. If you are to keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. So they need to stay still. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard, like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. A bullet will not pierce their skin. Though a shotgun will keep them at bay. 
Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon. Fire envelops them, burns away their skin and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. Really? Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort? Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air? What am I supposed to do then? I have contained them. I used traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs. Ew! From those who had no further use for them. Is that what he did to hot eyed Beth? One by one, I caught those who had infested the mountain. Okay, this man could be one of the miners, but he also could be one of the Kree. Is that possible? Because he was wearing um a necklace with a mystical symbol. There may be defenses. Shamans wrote of rituals. I have found native artifacts on the mountain and copied them. Totems, bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied their designs. I have tested them. Okay, he might not be one of the Krees. Out on the mountain they work. They keep the Wendigo at bay, not entirely but enough. But inside buildings, they do not work. Oh. Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite. What? No. Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo? Uh oh. But the bite is harmless. I have been bitten. But I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another? Huh? There's no other way. So he got bit, but he didn't change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. It is wrong. It is not a snack. It is wrong. Oh. Oh no, 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 what? no, no. I'm going to I'm not going to conceal. It says that the bites it, if it bites you it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um it says she'll be okay. It says what? You're going to be fine. Fine, Michael almost shot me. Is that he fine? Didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair. She was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None no, of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse, please, Emily. Please, please, just try to understand. Understand the palm mm. of my hand, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so 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 sorry. Shit, oh, boy. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get to Mike. Like, now. Yeah, just all go outside. Great idea. They stayed in there like oh, five seconds. Joshua, you should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death or passively allowing a tragedy to occur because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed Aww. by your own self-centered fear while a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Did you hurt them? 
Joshua, why did you hurt them? Huh. So that means he's still alive though, right? Uh, they hurt me. But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry at least until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. So this is all in his mind. That's so interesting. They need to change or it was just a game. They do need to change though. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that a your friends, if chance? they still are your friends, can save you from. It's terrible. Isolation. Is he gonna get a second chance? How can he survive the Wendigo? Despair. Oh, poor. Mike is so adventurous. So he's trying to find Josh to try and find the key for the cable car. And he saw those things. He saw. He doesn't even have a weapon or anything. Mike, whatcha doing? Wait. Okay, so he's back at the sanatorium. Are the dogs still there? Exactly. That's the same note I think we saw. Yeah. Exactly. What happened to the wolves? Mike, not Mike, but Josh is somewhere there where he's going to try and get to the mines. Hmm. It's a bold, it's a bold plan. gun a torch I just yeah. need a pitchfork and a mob <laughs> he leaves the gun oh no oh no he's taking the gun uh, good enough yeah. Anything else?
I heard, I heard. Oh no. Maybe it wasn't the music. Okay, I saw all this. So let's go downstairs. This would be a perfect jump scare. Everything's destroyed, so I... I... I'm a bit disoriented. Didn't he just lock this door? Yeah. That's not where we need to be. Okay. Where... Where should I go? It says exit this way, but it's all blocked off. Hmm. Oh, a totem. Give me something good. Oh. <gasps> what the heck is that? A lost totem. But I don't know whose face that that is. It sounds like one of the girls. But it just tells me that one of the girls can get mauled by this thing. Okay. It sounded like one of the girls. there any clues some graves holy hell all the crosses bear the same date the miners though what happened to make so many people die on the same day oh wait the names though Adam White, Evelyn Daniels, and Charles Miller? Were they minors? I don't know. Oh, I didn't even see it. I 
I thought this was where I needed to be, but no. him using the gun because these things are gonna hear a map of this place so we're not flying blind there should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine think you can handle that I couldn't have said it better myself she wants to come with oh okay is there anything else here though are we ready to go in the mine yeah There was two dogs, though. I don't know... Where's the other one? He's gonna sniff him out. Right? What? Okie dokie, boy. Calm down. Wish I could move like you, Wolfie. I'm stuck on this side. All right. There goes nothing. Awesome. Got moves. Yeah. Don't I, Wolfie? <laughs> okay. Are there any clues? So, what's here? Another patient file? Huh. Initial report. The patients were first admitted to Blackwood's medical facility five days ago. During this time, we've run a number of tests, both physiological and psychological. The results have been extraordinary in contravention of common medical expectations. So the symptoms, paler, skin dispigmentation, severe vitamin D deficiency. Oh, these things, they just need vitamin D. Social dysfunction, longer than average readaptation period, post-traumatic events, interpersonal behavior, erratic violence towards orderlies three attempted assault and one attempted scratching so symptoms expected but not observed malnutrition they should be dead but they were fine frostbite but patient stimulus response within acceptable bounds and frailty but they were observed to have unusual growth in strength one patient lifted almost a ton Okay, suggested action. So they were super strong. Placed under strict observation, restraint strongly recommended. Wow. Yeah. 
<gasps> what the? Oh no! Oh, son of a oh. bitch. That was your friend. Jesus Christ. The f I got myself into. Well, yeah, Mike. Oh. I was wondering why the other dog wasn't there anymore. Everything okay, boy? What you seeing? Um... Should we go to the doctor's office or... Right? I don't know. Where's Doggo? got out of the chair and started crawling and the nurse is like huh where's Jimmy so it would happen very fast the transformation Okay, I think the dog is... Um... Not here. But I just want to see if I can find any clues that I missed. Mike is just going full detective. I like that. Blackwood Pines, Blackwood Sanatorium, medical exam examination, patient number nine. It's this confidential. Day four. Epidermal dispigmentation. Yeah, they, so they went, um, their skin got paler. Severe curvature of thoracic region. Corneal dystrophy and clouding. Yeah, their eyes would get cloudy. Whoa. So they documented the transformation. Scarring alopecia. So, so they would lose all their hair. Extreme nasal septum perforation. They turned into Voldemort and lost their nose. And their teeth got pointy. Ew! Hot sauce Christmas cake. This is fucking unbelievable. Say that again, Mike. This is not great. What's this? <gasps> the patient is still there. I can go inside. Should I? Didn't the guy say um, he couldn't die, the Wendigo? Or no, they shouldn't be killed, but we don't know. Is this one dead? Oh no, I want to check. If Mike dies, 
No, we can't die. Now, why would I do that? I'm too curious. I want to s No, should I? Why did I do that? Holy shit. <laughs> Who is this guy? It's for science, okay? Do not. Sorry, oh. You're gonna read it in his face? To whom it may concern. You're dying outside. I hear them screaming and crying. This hell is my only legacy. God's punishment for my mistakes. No escaping my fate. Wait, that was the doctor. No, 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 no. It wasn't the doctor. Um, it was the proprietor, the owner of the sanatorium and the mine, Jefferson Bragg. So he turned into a Wendigo? Don't move! Please, 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 please don't move. Don't move. Oh my gosh, I don't like having my back turn on that thing. Or maybe he just locked himself in there. Yeah, because he still had hair. Yeah, I don't think he turned into a Wendigo. Okay, I'm here, boy. <gasps> what is that? Wait for me, Wolfie. You're going too fast. Should we go in there? Uh. No, it's just a rat. I'm not gonna shoot it. Yeah, it's a little... <laughs> Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh no, oh no. Where? Where? Go straight ahead. Straight ahead. I don't know. Shit. 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 I don't know. The dog, though. <laughs> Wolfie. <gasps> oh, you ugly beast. I wasted a bullet though. <gasps> oh no. No way. No way this is happening. I wasted a bullet.
Okay. Well, <laughs> Wolf is there, and we didn't die. Oh, no. Okay. No, 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 no. <gasps> oh, boy. <laughs> he still has clothes on. Holy shit. No. This thing. Did it say help? Or did I imagine that? Where are you? To shoot it. It's not gonna get me. Did he shoot? <gasps> oh no, 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 no. What a time, oh boy. boys. Enough of me for all you. <gasps> oh! It can't die with bullets, though. There's no point in wasting them. No. No. Come on, Mike. Be careful. Gonna waste my bullets. Run. Come on, come on, come on. I can hear him. Where is he, though? Psychiatric ward. Wolfing. Hmm, I don't know where he is. Mike did well, though. It's so reckless of him to be back at the sanatorium. 
to be out. <gasps> what was that? I can hear the dog. I hope he's not hurt. Okay, give me something. Oh! A death totem. So, does that mean do not use a lighter? A dead lighter is not good. Is what I'm getting. Okay. Where's the dog, though? Oh, this is creepy! So... is not scared. <gasps> oh, it's back. It's back. <laughs> oh, I almost missed that. Barricade, right? These things are very strong, though. Hey, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on down. Come on. It's all right. Come on, boy. Okey -dokey, it's scared. Yeah, I'll catch you huh. on the flip side, huh? It doesn't want to come with. Mike? 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 Is that a good idea? I don't know. Oh. Doggo! Oh no. Was that the spirit of the Wendigo? In the fire? <gasps> That's Jess! She's not dead! Not dead. How? Oh what? Jess is back. They Come shouldn't on, have guys, left the lodge. Up. We gotta find Mike. Come on. Hey, I'm I'm, I'm kind of gimping out here, guys. Um, I think maybe you should go on without me. We. I could inquire or reassure. We're not leaving you. Yeah, we're not leaving you. No, Chris, we are not leaving you. We're sticking together. Mike will just have to wait. I would never leave Chris behind. Do 
Does that mean Mike is gonna be alone though? But he was already alone. Wait, I'm just gonna check that butterfly thing. What does that mean, left behind? Ashley wouldn't leave Chris. Yeah. Why would I leave Chris? He's struggling a little bit. Are they walking towards the sanatorium? Because uh, I wouldn't do that. <gasps> Exactly. Chris? Okay. Do we still have the gun? Oh, shit. Mike must have locked it behind him. Crap. There's got to be another way in. What's wrong with Chris? What's wrong with you, man? Wait. Hey. What about this? I mean, should, should we try it? Well, it's not like we got a whole lot of choices here. Yeah, just go in the sewers. <laughs> Jess was alive, though. I saw it. Okay, this is maybe the last place I would want to be right now. <laughs> yeah. So who's going first? <laughs> After you. It's not so bad. You think this is the tunnel to the sanatorium? Of course it is. Where else would it go? To the mines? Just saying. Chris, I know you're hurt, but you gotta move it, all right? I'm trying, Ash. What's wrong with them? Is he gonna faint? I don't know. Something's up, though. Hey, um... Hey, we should close this, right? Huh? I mean, what if something's following us? Oh, yeah. Yes, fine. Close it. But we gotta keep moving. Can you just catch up, please? Yeah. This is the worst group of friends I have ever seen in my life. Just leave Ashley alone. Ashley behind. Who would do that? Who would do that? Wendigo mimicked? I... I... I'm gonna rejoin because it doesn't mean that Hello? Ashley's gonna find Jess. I don't know. Gosh. Didn't I say rejoin group? It seems like she's investigating the voice. Okay. Oh my god, I am 
I'm so glad to see you. Glad you're safe. Okay. I feel better now. Look. Look there. Oh, great. The water's toast. We're never gonna make it up there. <laughs> no, 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 I think I can. I think you can do it. It's like a rock wall. I'm gonna keep going. You should head back to the lodge. I've gotta get Mike. Good luck. Huh? So the group just leaves Sam. That was kind of weird. I... <gasps> Josh! Okay. I'm gonna climb. Let's not leap, okay? Uh. Climb. Come on, girl, you could do I'm it. I'm gonna jump to the ledge. Why, though? She did it. I beat you. I beat you. <laughs> wow, that was impressive. Okay, I can go left. Is that a totem? Yes. Did we see this one though? <gasps> that was Sam. That was Sam. The Windigo got her. Okay. So I can go... Oh boy. Where should I go? Is this where we need to go? So we can go down there or... Up the stairs. Honestly! Up the stairs just seems like a better option. Oh! Okay. Well... Maybe not. Surviving. Okay. No Windigo. No Windigo. Should I? Wait, we 
killed another one? Alive, for a start. Yeah, yeah, alive's good. Yeah. What the hell are you doing here anyway? I was gonna warn you about the Wendigos. I think I got it. <laughs> Let's find a way down to where this f lives. It's so <laughs> reckless. sessions are of any help to you now. You just won't listen to me and think seems pretty... <laughs> yeah. So I I'm gonna leave you now, Josh. It's time you learn. There's more to be afraid of can be dreamt up by the unhinged imagination of a self-indulgent, spoiled little brat! You had so many people who cared about you, who were willing to help! But at every turn, you choose to push them away, and now you're all alone. <laughs> so by the sounds of things, you won't be alone for long. No, you won't be alone for long. Oh, Deep don't breath, say that. Josh. Deep breath. Okay. No. He's having a full on episode in the mines. Trust. <laughs> wow. I don't know where to go though. Left. No. You're not real. You're all alone down there. No, no. No, 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 not again. What happens if he finds Beth's head? I swear. I swear I tried to find you. That's, that's kind of sad. Because his guilt. Why did you want 
something kind of weird about it. Uh, what? I went to go. It had a scar. So? I've seen it before. What are you talking about? I saw these old pictures of some guys with that scar, and he was transforming into a Wendigo. Oh, no, kidding. It was one of the miners who'd been trapped back in the 50s in the cave-in, which means that thing is 80 years old, at least. Spunky for an old-timer. They cleaned the place out. Killed a lot of people. They? You mean there are more of them? Well, yes, yeah, Sam. Oh, yeah. How many? Too many. Yeah. I think we're close to the lair. How can you tell? I don't know. I just feel really terrible all of a sudden. Did I? Are they gonna I really run don't into Josh? There. There's no other way through. Mike, please, Mike. What you doing, Mike? Oh, I we need to go down there, but I, I want to go this way. Mike, okay. is that what I think it is? Yeah. Is, is that, that a grave? grave? Yeah. So someone did bury Beth. Oh God, Mike, this is Beth. This is her watch. What? Let me see. Look, there was a cross here. So this is where she was buried. But who dug her up? Let's keep moving. Josh wouldn't. Although it wouldn't be too far fetched, but fine. I'm going in. Oh. Ooh. Oh God, it's okay. There's sure. water. I'm not dead yet. Famous last words. Oh, it's crazy. I think. Oh. Absolutely I, I, not. Just keep moving. Nobody likes cold butts. Although yours are great. Yeah, never mind. What? <sighs> Wait a minute. I thought you reached the deepest part. Oh, I didn't say that. I said it was okay. You didn't like there weren't any sharks or anything in here. Sharks? You don't know. Great. Thank you. Can the Wendigo swim? Oh, 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 it's getting deeper. Yeah. Ah, ah. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, ah. Hey, it's sloping up again. We're gonna make it. God, don't jinx it. Right. Uh. Okay, they have to make it out. There's a door. Ah! Ew! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Jesus. Oh. 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 oh no, they can swim! They can swim! Did the Wendigo do that? Hey, I saw something. 
Josh. No, 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 I don't. Josh. I won't take orders from you. Oh boy. I won't take orders hey. from you. You can't. Hey, Josh. You can't tell me what to do. You can't Josh. tell me what to do. What are you doing? You can't tell me what to do. Oh, okay. Okay. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. Oh, poor guy. I mean, as much as Josh is like he's made bad choices. Oh. 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 What's the matter with Mike? He's tripping or something. Yeah. Josh. M M Mike. Josh. Hey, man. Don't, don't hit me, please, please. please. You were deep in it, man. Full mental jacket. We didn't well, you think don't hit you back. Hey, let's just get the fuck oh, out well. of here. Okay, Josh, do you have the key for the cable car? Uh, yeah. Here. Oh, God. See that over there? That means there's a direct way out. Come on. Yeah. There's no way Josh is gonna make it up there. Okay, if you help me up, I can go back to tell the others we're okay. Yeah. Yeah, good. You bring Josh back the way we came, and we'll all meet at the lodge. What? Be careful. Hey, you too. She, so she's gonna right, climb go. her way back. <laughs> okay, so I'm Josh now. Wait, so as much as Josh, you know, is problematic, of course. I mean, he's having a full mental breakdown, so I can't help but feel bad for Josh. Even after all the horrible things he did, he's having like a full blown episode and. I don't know, he didn't get the help he needed. So I I kind of feel sorry for him, honestly. Oh, you didn't you didn't have to hit me so much, man. Uh yeah, uh, I'm sorry about before, man. I I thought you killed Jess. I was wrong. What? So Mike believes Josh now. No. It's gonna be okay, Josh. We need to go back in the water, but I saw Windy go. Mike, no, I'm taking the stairs out of here. I told him. Okay, come on, told him. Was that in the lodge? A danger totem. Is it wearing overalls? And who's peeking out of the corner? Well, of course this is gonna be dangerous. It is a thing, it is a windigo. Okay. Time for a swim. He's gonna trip out. Oh, 
Mike? Mike? Oh, you guys are real, though. Did that really happen? No. Did Wendigo Hana just kill Josh? Matt! Okay, we're back with Matt. Oh boy. <laughs> Matt, you have no idea. You. How did you end up down here? Mike and I were we were messing around and and then it it was what? I don't I don't know. I was by the window and there was all this glass and it was in the snow and then it was moving so fast. Oh boy. And then I was um I was down here. No. <laughs> So she didn't see. Yeah. Come on, Jess. So she didn't see who grabbed her. Well, come on, Jess. If you hear strange noises, um, we gonna die? No, they're not gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna protect them. I need to. I need to. Look at that. Some sort of cave in here. It was me. What? I fell. Through that roof. You fell this far? Jesus. Makes two of us. What? I fell off a goddamn fire tower down here. You're kidding me. Okay, stay close, Jess, because. We're about to see some things down here. I hope not, but. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. There's different paths we can go. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna check if there's... A totem I can grab. I see something. Yeah, a totem. Okay. A fortune totem. That was a windigo. In Jess's face, I think. Or Sam. Um. Okay, this is where we came from. Come on, Jess. Stay with me. something uh 
we're gonna we're gonna hide. Hide. Right? Alright, come on, Jess. You need to Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <gasps> Cause he can't run away Jeez. from that thing. Does this hurt? <laughs> She's badly right. hurt. Let's go. We gotta do this. Get out of here. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. I'm surprised, like. She didn't break anything. Jess. Well, maybe some ribs. What? Jazz, Jazz, Jazz! No, 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 we're gonna hide together. Right? Okay. Not about to abandon Jessica. Oh gosh! How do they know not to move, though? They didn't read the journal. Okay. We're gonna climb. Slow and steady, okay? It's pretty high. Oh! What the? I did press. Okay, we're gonna try again. Climb, right? Uh, come on. Uh. Okay. We're out. We're out. That's great. Right? We're just gonna keep moving, keep moving. Yep. Just keep running, Sam. in your little caprice. Just straight ahead. <laughs> Stomping. cabin oh gosh oh gosh
Sam? Be careful. Stay out here. Come on. Is he gonna tell her that Josh died? Do. We should check the basement. Might be someone left down there. Okay. Is it me or Mike's being a little weird? If there's anyone left, they're probably Maybe, in the um, basement. I mean, they've went through so much, so. Maybe he's just traumatized. Well, how do you rate our chances of survival? Hmm? I'm trying not to think about it. What? Oh! Ooh. What the heck did I do? Okay, I, I thought it was over. I thought it was over. What? What's wrong? Save Mike. Hey! <gasps> What's gonna happen? Okay, M got out. Oh no, oh no. Sam? Ew! 
Uh, run for switch? Oh, I'm gonna hide. Ah! Ashley got away? Yes! Can Mike get to the switch, man? Get away from me! <gasps> I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. Was that done? Save Mike, though. No, did Mike die? But Mike, Could Mike have survived, though? Mike was burned. No! Wait, it ends like that? With Em and, um, not Em, but Matt. Matt and Jess. Uh, the old man, I, uh. What? I, I don't know how to describe him. I mean. You said you thought he was stalking you at first. Did anyone else in your group think that? Well, yeah. <laughs> Is it possible they could have killed him? What? No. No, you, you, you don't understand. Don't you understand? And if he attacked you... He saved my life. Yeah. And I watched him die. The police not gonna understand. I heard Jessica. I don't know how or why she was down there, but I know I heard her. I'm he so... held it right up to my face. Right here, right in front of my nose, and he could have shot me. He almost shot me, the prick. I mean, you go out with a guy for however long, and you think you know him, but man, this one really takes the cake. <laughs> I was Emily. right there, and I could have done something. I tried to do something. It wasn't good enough. But how did Matt, how did um, Matt and Jess get out? Carried and um, taken and... What did you see? I don't know. I don't... I don't know. I thought we were close. After his sister's disappeared, he'd come and talk to me. He said I was the only one who understood him. I thought... I thought we had a connection. If you need someone to talk to, I'm fine. No, but Josh was sick. After a traumatic experience, I said I'm fine. I, I stabbed him and I tried to get away, but I didn't know. I swear I didn't know. Didn't know? Who did you stab? Oh, I, I stabbed the maniac. I didn't know it was Josh, but then he was the psycho. And how was I supposed to know Josh had all the sauce and the gun and all? Where's Matt? Is he okay? Are they done looking at him? I'm just a little worried because, you know, I'm his girlfriend. Did he tell you that? I mean, I probably wasn't his favorite person there for a couple minutes, but he knows how devoted I am to him. He knows. He, he said he knows, right? Your friend Ashley, she told us she tried to help you. <sighs> she said she heard you calling out. <sighs> Poor Jess. Oh, it wasn't her. 
was my fault Mike died. I wasn't supposed to move. Oh. But I did. And he saved me. So it's my fault that he died. Well, technically, it's my fault. <laughs> what do you remember? He came for me. He did. Came for you? Where is he? Did he make it? Oh. You need to listen to me. I don't care if you believe me or not. It doesn't matter because you will. You need to go down to the mines. Why? What's in the mines, Sam? I've seen what's down there. And I'd give anything to unsee it. Okay. <laughs> So, Mike died at the very end. I don't know how Matt and Jess got out of the mines, but they did. Is there like a an epilogue? There is. Okay. Oh, that's Sam? <sighs> huh? Excuse me? Did she get scratched? What? Sam. No, she did not. <laughs> okay, okay. Wow. <laughs> that was a lot. That was a lot. I'm um I'm pretty happy with my choices except Mike at the end, at the very end. I'm not exactly sure what I should have done differently, but I messed that up at the very, very end. I don't know how I could have saved Josh. That's very sad that he would die at the hands of the Wendigo Hana. <laughs> I did not expect that. There was a couple of very good plot twists. So I guess you piece the entire story together when you do a couple playthroughs or when you find all the collectibles, all the clues, I missed a couple because they didn't really confirm who the mystery man was. But overall, very fun game. I'm very happy. This was a recommendation. So thank you so much for that. If you have other recommendations for me, games I should check out, don't hesitate. Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.